Hello and welcome to basic training video number two. This one is called Setting the Scene. We will be moving around within MovieZoo and creating your first set with objects and lights. So let's jump right in. Here I am, I've just opened MovieZoo and I have a blank set that I can open or I've got a choice down the side of different sets I can select. But for this purpose I will just choose the blank one. Let's introduce an object. I'll choose the cube. Okay, so let's move around the cube. Down here we've got icons, a little mouse icon, and that's showing us how we can move around within this space, or set as it's known. We hold down the left hand button and move the mouse backwards and forwards. You can see that we can steer and move the view. If I hold down the right hand button, I can look around. And if I hold down the two buttons together and move the mouse, I can move the view sideways and up and down. Okay, so that's the mouse movements. Left hand, move and steer. Right hand button, look around. Two buttons together, up and down and sideways. There are also keyboard controls for moving it and looking around and these are W for moving forward, S for moving back, A for moving to the left, D for moving to the right, Q for up, E for down and also you have the arrow keys which move left and right rotation and forward and backwards arrows move us forwards and backwards, funnily enough. Okay, and you can use a combination of keyboard controls and mouse controls, that's what I do. I use the mouse generally for looking around and the keyboard for moving around. I'm sure you'll find whichever method or combination suits you best. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the menus that we have available. We have the file menu, which is all the usual things, new, open, save, save as, options and quit, with keyboard shortcuts to the side there, if you wish to use them. In the create menu, we have options to create characters, objects, backdrops, effects, and lights. Also words and cameras, and you can change the environment too. In the edit menu, you have a variety of things that you can do. Select all, select none, Cut, copy, paste, delete, group, lock and edit. In the view menu you can view in unlit mode. That takes away all rendering with lights. Put it back to normal lighting. Uh, you can look at objects if they're selected. So look at and also move to which would move to the object selected. You can hide effects, hide lights and hide cameras. Sometimes objects can be obscured and the set can become a little bit cluttered with such things. So if you hide cameras, they'll disappear and show cameras. You also have a show scene window. This scene window shows you all items which are part of your set from cameras to objects, backdrops, effects and lights. In the prepare menu, we have various things that we can prepare for animation. We can prepare the audio, we can prepare dialogue for characters, prepare sound effects to happen at certain points throughout the animation. We can prepare the camera movement, character actions, character properties, object properties and object movement. Direct menu is when you're actually going to animate after preparing. So you can direct dialogue, sound effects, camera cuts, camera movement, character head and eyes, character actions, character properties, character movement, object properties and object movement. The tools menu shows you timeline, easter eggs which are hidden features within MovieZoo, enable snapping, that is where you can constrain objects to certain angles and content packs are for certain packs which are available from the MovieZoo site. Video. The video menu contains make video. You can also upload your videos directly to YouTube. 
We also have undo buttons uh, and redo buttons and there's a help menu. Okay, so that about covers the menus. Um, the next thing I will show you is objects and customization. Okay, so I'll quickly show you how to create an object and customize it. So I go to the create menu, objects, let's look for a chair, that one will do, create, drops into place, okay. So with the object selected, I can then go to edit, this brings up all the properties for the chair, uh, the cushion is this colour, so I can select that and change it to whatever colour I wish and the same for the upholstery change that to a different colour also I can have it floating in the air I can keep it upright or deselect that and turn it around I can have a character standing on it if I selected that one I can scale the object up and down or I can stretch it out make it tall, long, short whatever I wish okay there are plenty of options and that just allows me to select whether I want it to cast shadows or not can you see that there? So that's how you quickly create an object and customize it. So let's quickly build a set. So we'll go once again to create objects and we will look for road. And we've got various roads there. So I'll just select this one and I'll click create and the road drops down within movie zoo. Now there are various things you can do to customize objects within MovieZoo. Uh, this is done by selecting the object, going to the edit menu, down to edit, and this shows the properties that can be changed for that object. So if I expand that tab, so if I expand that tab, I can see all the colors which are used on the different parts of this road item, okay? so I can change that, so let's change the colour of the pavement and we'll change it to that kind of grey colour okay and let's change the colour of the road and I can select, we also have a colour picker here I can slide around and make whatever I want and just slide the colour around there and then go within the colour to the various different tones of it okay so we'll go for that okay so I'm happy with that road so now that I have that road I would like to actually make it longer so I'm moving back with the road selected I will go edit copy edit paste and I caught that just as it was falling with my left mouse button and place it on the ground and move it to where I want it to be. Okay, so there we go. I can do that again. Edit, paste, and there we go. Just drop it. Just place it in there. Okay, so now I've got a nice long road. I think I'll put some buildings next to this road. Again, create objects, buildings, and we'll have that one. Create and just move it into where I wish it to be that'll do and I'll keep doing this for a while so I'll keep moving things around and bringing in extra objects and we're back in two settings okay so here I am I've thrown a few more objects together and I've created this little street set uh, we've got a few cars um, Got a couple of cars, uh, parking meter, fire hydrant, lamp posts, and a backdrop. Backdrops are very useful items for set building. The uh, you can put any image, PNG or JPEG, 
onto a backdrop. I'll show you quickly how to create a backdrop. Create backdrops, select the backdrop you require, and in it drops. Now, to customize a backdrop, you would go to Edit. When it's with it selected, you go to Properties, select the image. Now, you can import an image of your own, or you can select one from within MovieZoo. Let's move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. And as you can see, whatever image you put on the backdrop, that's what's displayed. And you can build walls from backdrops, create rooms, I'm sure you can imagine quite a few uses for backdrops but in this case I've created a very large backdrop by scaling it, scaling it up. I'll select that just to show you, edit and scale, I've scaled it right up, I can scale it. I've scaled it uniformly. Alright so there we go so that's the backdrop. Alright, so that's us got our set in place. The next stage would be to light the set. To create lights for this set, go to Create Lights. There are three main types of light. There's a directional light, which is a parallel light, simulates sunlight, that one. A spotlight, which s simulates spotlight in real life, um, a kind of cone style light and a bulb here which uh, simulates a light bulb sending out light in all directions okay uh, we've also got within the the uh, edit environment we have an ambient brightness which is the general brightness of the set okay so if we reduce that down and then we go create light and we introduce the directional light. As you can see, this kind of simulates sunlight. Okay, hold on. I'll just change the environment slightly. This will all be covered later on. Uh, I'll change that from simple to realistic to give you a more accurate view of what's happening with the shadows and things. As you see, that's how the directional light works. The various things within edit environment, shadow sharpness, etc. Also within the edit environment we have options for the uh, sky. We can add sky textures or colours. Uh, we can import a texture just like we could the backdrops. Picking whatever one suits our needs. I'll go for a nice sunny day. I'll increase the sky illumination and we can do the same as we did for the sky we can just go to ground and there we go okay so there's quite a lot in that tutorial uh, I showed you how to move around within MovieZoo uh, look around uh, move objects introduce objects customize objects uh, quickly build a simple set and light the set ready for animation so in the next one, we will move on to casting, and that's where we'll be looking at characters. See you soon.